no matter what you're going through, you cannot be afraid to take it to the Lord in prayer. Because in this life, we got to always know that prayer is our is our best weapon. Our weapon against all the evil that come against us and all the doubt, the hatred, the negativity is prayer in the word of God. So you always got to come to the Lord. Take it to him with prayer. Take it to him with fasting, supplication. And whatever you're doing, continue to put one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Because if you go backwards like this, stepping back, you cannot get the results. God has a promise for you. He has a promise for your life. He has victory that he wants to give you. But it's going to take you humbling yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord. And continue to come to him in prayer and supplication. You got to have a relationship with God. Don't let people tell you what God is. You need to know God for yourself. You need to know who he is in your heart. You need to meditate on the word, study the word, know the word so that the word can fill you and pour through you to others. All right. In the Bible, it says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So you have to have forgiveness in your heart. It is requirement. You can't hold on to grudges. You can't hold on to what somebody did to you. You're not forgiven for you, for them. You're forgiven for yourself. So in order to move on and, and get to that next spot, because we're in a new year and everybody's saying, oh, 2024 is going to be my year. It's going to be year, the year of the breakthrough. How do you break through? How do you push through? How do you bust through? Start off with prayer. If you don't know the Lord, I encourage you to follow me. The God, God has been good to me. He delivered me pulled me up out of the muck and miry clay. And he used a wretch like me to get out here and spread his word. I could be doing a thousand things, but I am here telling you about the goodness and gracious of the Lord or the goodness and greatness of the Lord. I can be talking to you about a thousand things. Trust me. I don't know if you know my resume, but I have been through all the foolishness. I did 13 years in prison. I was a federal fugitive for five years. I ran the streets. I was with organizations doing whatever all that foolishness that's done in the street. And one day he stepped in and tapped me on my shoulder and changed my life. He just turned it around, flipped it up, up inside out, and spun it around. And he's blessed me. In the Bible, they say that he will restore the years that the canker worm has, sto has stole from me. He's done it. So right now, 2024 is the year of my blessing. I am walking in the blessing of the Lord, in the goodness and graciousness and greatness of the Lord. This is my year for grace and favor. Because the Lord is leaning in my direction. And if you want him to lean in your direction, all I'm telling you is you got to take time to pray. Build a relationship with God. Don't just sit in church and let the preacher tell you who God is and what he does and let somebody tell you everything about the Lord. Take some time aside and build a relationship. Exodus 14, 14, say the Lord, a fight for you. You just need to stay still. You need to keep your peace. And he's going to come in that little quiet voice. Lord ain't going to be in the Russian, the light. He's not going to be in the fire. He's not going to be in the flame. It's not going to be in the earthquake. It's not going to be in the storm. It's going to be that little quiet voice that comes to you. That's where the Lord is. And it ain't no hocus pocus stuff. Nowhere in the Bible that somebody get goosebumps and say, oh, I got goosebumps. So I know this is from the Lord. Just know that if you want to take the next step and make progress in 2024, let God be your big home and you can't do it alone. Bring them into all those things. If you're struggling with addiction, bring them in. If you're struggling with pornography, bring them in. If you're struggling with substance abuse or abuse, spousal abuse, domestic violence, bring them in. If you're struggling with alcoholism, bring them in. If you're struggling with health issues, bring them in. Obesity, bring them in. Let God in. Just let him in your life. He'll, he'll do the rest. He'll cleanse you from all the unrighteousness. It's going to take some things for you to do. You might have to separate yourself from some folks. You might have to clean your act up. You might have to walk a little different, move a little different. But I guarantee you, you allow him in your life, it'll never be the same. Take some time to love those who love you and just meditate and get to know the Lord for who he really is, who he truly is, and what he can do for you. Amen.